The four founding chairs had this brilliant idea in 1997. They thought that their friends and the friends of their friends, the leading women of New York City, would be interested in biomedical research. And really nobody else had thought of that. One of the incredible assets that we can offer to women is educating them in science and about women scientists at the university. I don't think you're going to be able to call yourself an educated person in the next century unless you are informed about science. The Women in Science program at Rockefeller has actually um, become a blueprint for other institutions nationwide, possibly even globally at this point. They initiated these women in science luncheons and the lectures to get these incredible women together to listen to our research. I remember really well the very first women in science lecture that I went to and just being completely in awe, both listening to these extraordinary women talk about their research, but being surrounded by an auditorium packed full of extraordinary women from all different fields. And they were all interested in basic science. And that to me was really inspiring. So the Women in Science Initiative at uh, Rockefeller is an important initiative for both highlighting the importance of women in science and helping to promote uh, their advancement uh, along their academic careers. We won't be doing our job if uh, we uh, cut off the opportunity for half the population. When I came here, I really bonded with the fact that here were these women in their own respective professions having achieved outstanding contributions. And suddenly here I was coming to a university feeling that I was being recognized for my outstanding contributions and for those of my students and postdocs. The playing field is still not level for women and supporting them at the early stages of their career can make all the difference in the world. The long history of male dominance in science is I think we are helping to break that. The women who have received postdoctoral fellowships or graduate fellowships from the women in science who have trained in my laboratory have gone on to have wonderful careers. They're all on trajectory to really making a difference in biomedical research. The way that this program reaches out to college students and to younger people and young scientists, they become mentors. It's possible for women to succeed in science and they're in front of us here. It's one of the most rewarding things that I do. Anytime someone applies for a fellowship or an award and you can tell them that they receive it is a wonderful experience. Across the board, they're all so appreciative of the support 